Okay. And I've already washed my hands. Hi there. How are you doing? My name's Elaine and I'm one of the GPs in the clinic today. Oh, how are you doing, Elaine? What's your name? Uh, Francis. Hi, Francis. How are you today? I'm not bad, no. Okay. And I understand you've come in for an eye examination. That's right, yeah. Okay. Could you explain to me how this came about? Uh, over the last couple of weeks, I just feel that there's a bit of blur sensation okay. going on there. So I just need for the test. Sure. So we can have just a little look at the back of your eye. Okay, yeah. Okay. Have you had this done before, uh, Francis? No. Okay, so I'll just explain to you what it involves. Okay. So basically, this I'm going to use this instrument here, and it's called an ophthalmoscope. Okay. Okay? And it involves shining a bright light into the back of your eye. All right, okay. Okay? Um, it shouldn't cause you any pain, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to touch your eyeball. All right, okay. Okay? However, I will have to come in a bit close to you, mm -hmm. and I will have to lift up and down your eyelid, if that's okay. That's okay, yeah. Okay? Um, and as I said, it shouldn't cause you any pain. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, no. Okay. So ideally I would like to dim the lights in the room. So using the thermoscope at zero diopters, standing at a distance of 30 centimetres and at about an angle of 15 degrees we're going to start with. So Francis, I'll just get you to take off your glasses. Oh, All right, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so if you focus on a point straight on in the distance over my right shoulder. Okay. Okay, and we're going to observe for the red reflex. So at a distance of 30 centimetres, we're observing for the red reflex at an angle of 15 degrees. We're then coming in closer to observe the optic disc. We're looking at the colour, the size and the clarity of the margins. We're observing the surrounding retina for any exudates or hemorrhages and noting their size, their shape, their colour and their distribution. We're then following the retinal vessels into all four quadrants. We're observing for arteries and veins and we're looking at their colour and their size. We then move laterally and we're observing for the fovea and the surrounding macula. Here we're observing for any opacities. We're then going to change the ophthalmoscope to 10 optimers. Sorry, Francis, I'm going to come in again. Okay. Okay. Stand now again, and we're looking at the lens and the vitreous humor. We're observing for any vitreous hemorrhages or any opacities. Okay, that all seems fine, Francis. Oh, lovely. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything there in your right eye. We would also repeat the procedure on the patient's left side, looking into their left eye, using my left eye with the ophthalmoscope in my left hand. That's okay. Okay. Do you have any questions, Francis? Oh, that's lovely, thank you. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything of note there. So what I would say, if you have any additional symptoms or it worsens, you can come back to us. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in to us today, thank Francis. You, thank lovely. you. I'm Dr. McDonald. How are you, I'm one Dr. of the GPs in the clinic here. What's your name? Hi, uh, Francis. Hi, Francis. How are you doing today? All right, no. Okay, so mm -hmm. today what you're in for is an exa eye exam, so we might as well get it started if that's okay with you. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check your red reflex. Actually, is it okay if I get you to take off your glasses, please? Oh, if right, you don't okay. Mind. okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, so now I'm going to um, look into your eye. Uh, first, I'm looking for red reflex, and that appears to be present. And oh, sorry, is it okay if I get you to look straight ahead as well? Oh, right, while okay. I'm doing this, okay. okay. And now I'm looking for the optic disc, which I can see. I'm looking for the vessels, and I'm looking for the macula. Okay. Everything seems to look normal at the moment. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, no, that's great. No? Okay, thanks very much for coming in to me today. Okay, thanks, Doctor. Thank you.